Hey guys, it's ESPN001 here for part 98 of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. I believe this is part 7 of Lonesome Road already. And this is literally my second take of this because the first take was actually going really, really well and then the game froze. How wonderful. Alright, we have an angry death claw right here. When are they not angry? Hey, this time he's actually going after Eddie first and not me. Oh, perfect timing. Okay, at least I know there are no death claws down there. At least there weren't last time. Alright, anything we can do with that truck doesn't look like it. Uh, okay, so we actually have to go up that way to progress, but we are not going to do that. I am actually going to swap to something that allows me to run a little bit faster. Hmm, should I use that? I think I'll use that. Nice high rate of fire. Okay, first we gotta go over here, and there's gonna be a couple of MREs on the ground. If I sound too specific on this, keep in mind that, like I said, this is the second time I recorded because the game decided to freeze. Can I get up here? I didn't actually try to get up here last time. Okay, maybe it was a good thing that the game froze because there's something up here. Wow, one MRE. Oh, okay, that one was much better. All right. I guess it was not too bad, so I was only like seven minutes in at least. Okay, so, yeah, last time I got butt raped by a couple of death claws, and then I killed one in the start of this video. Let's detonate that nuke. Let's see what's here. Oh, it's actually the same stuff this time around. Okay, I know that not all parts of the game are like that. I know, for anyone that doesn't know, the reason I don't use hotkeys is because I'm constantly, like, swapping my, uh, different stuff that I'm using. Like, constantly swapping it out either at my house or from Boone or Eddie or someone, so... That's kind of the reason I don't usually focus on that. So, I was fortunate enough, though, to find in the last video, or not in the last video, but in the failed recording, that there is the Lonesome Road Snow Globe in here. Gets added to the collection back at the Lucky 38, and gives us 2,000 bottle caps. I completely forgot it was here, and I have actually found all the snow globes in the game except for... I did not find the one in Dead Money, and I don't think there's any way to go back to Dead Money once you've completed it, unfortunately. So that's a bit sad that I won't ever be getting that one, but it's really not that big a deal. I mean, it's 2,000 bottle caps. That's really not a whole lot. And I think I'm technically missing the one from maybe Jacobstown? But I don't know how I missed that. Maybe I just didn't find it. I guess I just didn't find it during the Let's Play, but I couldn't find it. And, or I guess it just didn't show up. I mean, I guess there's a possibility that maybe it didn't show up or that I just still have it in my inventory hidden somewhere because I killed Mr. House during the Let's Play. I, I guess that's all a possibility, but I don't entirely know. Eddie, you died to those tunneler thingies. I mean, they aren't even that difficult to kill, usually. Don't watch me, like, die to one. Hey, at least they don't do, like, 20 million damage the way the Death Balls do. Hey, they're dead, and Eddie couldn't do that, which is sad, because they're actually pretty weak. Tunneler hides are worth a bit of money, though. Not even going to bother with scavenging. I don't really think I need it. Bunch of health items in here. What's in this one? Rockets! Okay, I'll take that. Can't get in there. Looks like there's still another enemy in the area. Or two. What have we got in here? Broken fridge with alcohol. Always a nice thing. A little miniature filing cabinet. It's so cute. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take that. I don't need the other crap there. Let's make some 308s, and I know from last time that that's all I'm allowed to make, is just those 308s. So I don't have enough material for anything else. I mean, I just never found... Oh, crap. Of course there would be a death claw here. Of course. This gun is useless! Oh, he's st 
stuck. Oh my god. Yeah, sorry I wasn't talking there. I was trying to focus. He got stuck. I am the luckiest person on earth. Ooh, man. That was close. Freaking hate death claws. That's what I hate about this DLC is there's so many freaking death claws. I feel like the death claws are really just a cheap way to artificially like skyrocket the difficulty of the game. Because they're just kind of, they're really unfair because, I mean, unless you're on, like, easy or very easy, they'll kill you in, like, two hits. And they wreck your armor along with it, so it's really kind of unfair in my opinion. Oh, filing cabinet here, I didn't even see that. Eh, yeah, cigarettes. Well, I guess I'm not going to take both of them, I accidentally exited out of it. And there's still one more enemy in the area, but it looks like Eddie's okay. Hey, Eddie, uh, do that, do that, do that. Just a bunch of speech challenges. I think we saw them in the past video, though. You're going to repair my weapon? Thank you. I appreciate it very much. God, I got so freaking lucky there that that death claw got stuck. I hate death claws. Again, they just sort of cheap way to raise the difficulty. It's going to be even more terrifying in Fallout 4 when they can, like, pick you up and, like, throw you and such. That's ridiculous. That's going to be terrifying. Alright, what do we have up here? Anything? Nah, not much. Anything up here in this little hidden pathway, even though it's not hidden? Nothing there. I don't like having to walk with this thing out, but I can't risk having a death claw spawn in on me from above or something. Ow. No. Seriously? Seriously? This is just not my day. Uh, where do I have a... Wait, I don't even need to do that. Uh, let's go to status and... Okay, I still have over 700 stim packs. I'm fine. Okay, that one honestly wasn't even that close to me. And I'm going to save here because I don't want the game to freeze on me and have to lose a bunch of progress again. Anyway... I'm getting so hungry. I'm very ready for dinner tonight. Gonna get a nice burgers, probably, and potato. It's gonna be nice. I'm hungry and all, so... Yeah. Just trying to get these recorded, though, because I was running out of videos for this Let's Play. What do we have up here? Okay, I want to be careful of that, because that thing... Okay, that was unfortunate. Jeez, can I, like, not step on every mine in the game right now? I'm not even seeing them, though, is the problem. Oh, you know what? I know what they are. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm thinking of normal mines. These are not normal mines. They're satchel charges. That was my problem. I forgot about that. They use satchel charges here, not mines. Okay, I'm pretty sure I hit that one. Satchel charges are a lot more powerful and far better concealed. Kind of just checking around so I don't walk in on another one, hopefully. I actually forgot about that, that they use satchel charges here instead of uh, landmines, or frag mines. Kind of a cheap way to fight, though. Let's see a death claw. Ah, normal enemies. I'm actually quite glad to see normal enemies for once. Because they aren't very strong, and they can't shoot through my armor. I don't know why I made that sound. Uh... Let's take that. Man, yeah, that's worth it. How? Oh, crap. What is that? Bone saw. Okay, well, that was not a bone saw being used, but it looks like it. I think he's using a chainsaw. Is that a chainsaw? Yeah, that's a chainsaw. Okay. It's not. I don't know if that's actually worth taking, though. Eh, I got the weight to spare. I'll take it. What do we have in this desk? Of course I would take the thing I don't want.
that back. Uh, what do we have in the filing cabinets? I didn't want the cups. Why do I keep taking stuff I don't want? Um, God, I am just not having a good day of recording. I am only recording this video and then I'm not recording anything else today because I am just not having much luck with these recordings today. I am just all over the place. My mind is all over the place. It's like school stuff at the moment, summer school classes I'm taking to get ahead. Oh, I think that's not a fat man, is it? Because that could have been a bit bad if that was what that was. I don't think it was, though. Okay, good. It was a shoulder-mounted machine gun. I thought it was a fat man for a second. Or a missile launcher. That would have been quite bad. Is there anything else here of any value whatsoever? Sniper rifle. It's worth it. Hydra and a stim pack. I'll take that. Have we got anything else here that I can take? Alright, I think Eddie can only repair your weapons like once every 24 hours, or it might only be every 12 hours. That's what I'm hoping for. But it's a great use because you can use it back in the wasteland, and it's just really, really useful. Anything in here? Skin packs? Yep. It's just extremely useful because, you know, that saves a lot of money from not having to actually pay to get stuff repaired. Now you get it for free or you don't have to use up your weapons repair kits. What do we have in here? Uh, tool cabinet. Is there anything in here that I can use? Nail gun. Don't really need that, though. Oh, wait a second. I don't think we've seen that yet. Uh, never mind. I'm going to take that because I don't think we have seen a nail gun yet. Or if we have, I don't remember. Oh, I can create ammunition this time. Okay, uh, I think I'll create the 45 aught 70s because we need those. I know I'm over encumbered. I'll fix that in a minute. The rockets, do they have weight? Something I can't remember if the rockets may actually have weight. I don't think they do, but they might. Ammo. Ammo, I'll take that. Okay, let's eat some food. And let's repair this with that, because I don't really have the weight for it. All right. I guess I could try to get up there, but I don't really feel like it. Uh, I think we're actually getting close to the end of this mission, because I was checking uh, online just to check a little bit more about this DLC. And the DLC, it's like eight or nine story missions, but no side missions, which is what I thought, so... That's actually kind of nice. Oh, yes, this is actually a very important event here. This would actually get you a trophy if you didn't have all the trophies yet. Ashton Silo Control Station. Unlock it for me, Eddie. Oh, construction hat. Don't know if that's unique or not. Industrial hand. That's new and worth a lot of money for how small it is. Anything else here? Okay, uh, activate. Open. What challenge? Oh, maybe I didn't have... No, wait, I had to do that, I think. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. We launch a nuclear missile at something. That's probably not a good thing. I guess the good thing is that the Fallout era nuclear missiles were not as devastating as current world nuclear missiles. That's why places were able to get hit by like 13 and are still inhabitable, to a degree at least. Where's it going? Okay, did that do anything? I mean, we just air burst it. What what good does that even do? Is that even gonna fight me? Good. You're back online. Listen to me, Eddie. If you stay here, the I've uploaded destination coordinates for our outpost in Navarro into your system. I want you to go to the enclave there, okay? Do you understand me? It's gonna be a long journey, my little friend. I know you can. Be careful out there, Eddie. Maybe I'll see you again. 
this update. Ah, uh, wait a second. How did... How'd you make it to the... One of those Enclave do something to you as well? Yeah, that's in NCR territory. Uh... Looks like it wasn't easy for him either. Aw. Be happy, Eddie. It's okay. Okay, so it looks like the missile hits somewhere on the other side of the divide. You could reach the location of the blast from Hopeville. That is, if you feel brave enough to explore ground zero of a nuclear blast. Yes, you can go there. You can go there. If you won't. It's very heavily irradiated, as you might expect. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So yes, we can go there. And we will go there later on, but we're going to wait. The reason being, you get an extremely good item from completing the DLC. And that item actually gives you, I think it's like plus 50 radiation resistance or something. Which is going to make that much easier on us. Far better than the breathing mask. Are there more death claws here? Apparently not. Oh, it's those things, okay. I don't mind these things, because they don't do much. Uh, let's go here. This seems like a really bad idea. Seems like an extremely bad idea. This is like a freaking video, or video game. This is like a freaking, uh... Resident Evil game or something when you get stuck on a lift against a whole bunch of enemies that you have trouble killing. My armor condition is dangerously low, I know, but there are plenty of places I know that we can go to get it repaired, so I'll get it repaired sometime later in the DLC. Not worried about that. Cave Fungus is good, though, because that's a good healing item. That's probably the reason they're killing me so fast, is because my armor's so low. Oh, I won't let that stay, I won't let it stay that way for long. I'll get my armor repaired soon. Jeez, so many enemies. God, it's ridiculous. Like, don't you think that's enough freaking cave dwellers? I mean, I know that you have to be a high level for this DLC, but that's a little abusive on the enemies. Okay, we made it, thankfully. Alright, let's head back to the Divide. Ah, oh, that was a bit scary. Okay. Let's go. Uh, where are we now? A place that's exploding in a weapons repair kit. I'll take that. Good God. Don't you think that's enough explosions and weird, like, things? Oh, wait, I can take that as well. Tales some chivalry. Like, seriously, don't you think that's enough explosions? I think it's actually going to keep just doing explosions until we get out of here, so probably no point of even asking them to stop. 10 millimeter rounds, I'll take that. Rockets, I'll take that. Jet and purified water, I need that. Junk food. Okay, we're running out of space here. There's got to be a commissary terminal around here somewhere. Hey, the explosion stopped. Now I'm very happy. Let's just see what's through these doors before the end of the video. Okay, this must be where the missile went off from. Alright, we really need a commissary terminal so I can start... Uh, trading away some of this stuff. What have we got over here? Anything? Eh, random scrap and such. So yeah, I'm assuming... Oh, terminal. Uh... Let's try this one. Got it. That was lucky. Okay, disengage lock. Okay, well, would have been much easier to do it a different way. Uh, hey, an EDE upgrade. Perfect. Perfect way to end the video. 
Oh, we get plus two damage resistance. All right, guys, I think that's a pretty good stopping point and a pretty good place to be for the end of the video, so... And we're running a little bit low on time, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and next time, we will continue through this Ashton Missile Silo and see what else we can find.